high grade levens here's another electrostatic force the electrostatic a question that's based on the electric field strength now it says the question two identical metal sphere p and q each carrying a charge of positive five micro of positive five times ten to the power negative nine lies on the flat wooden surface with the centers with their centers 20 centimeter apart um, now um, x is about 10 millimeter um, from sphere q as shown in the diagram below the center uh, of sphere p and q um, um, the centers of spheres p and q and point x lies on the same straight line now guys here if you're looking here you have identical charges these both are positively charged and the distance between them is 20 millimeter apart and there's a point um, this point it's point x now it's 10 millimeter um, from the right of 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 point of point q um, guys, this point is experiencing an electric field from this Q and this point is experiencing an electric field from, from P. There. Now, the question now, it says define the term electric field at a point. Guys, you must differentiate between when they say define electric field. An electric field, guys, it's, it's, it's this region here it's this region of space it says it's a region of space in which the charge experiences a force so a, a a charge when it's here it experiences a force we call that it's an electric field this region it's an electric field now now they say to define the term electric field at a point the electric field at a point you define by the formula that says electric field is equal to f over q that means it's an electrostatic force it's an electrostatic force per um, electric field. It's an electrostatic force per unit charge placed at a point. Electrostatic force. Electric field is an electrostatic force per um, unit charge placed at a point. Check the exam guideline for the definition, guys. Now, in 7.2, to it says draw an electric field pattern surrounding the sphere p and q so the sphere p and q guys um, are both po positive they are like charges and they have what we call as repulsive forces so let me draw them this is p it's going to be positive and this is q it's positive so guys i'm not very good when it comes to drawing this one but Drawing this one, it's very important, guys, that you make the spheres to be identical and the electric field pattern, they have to be uniform and the field lines, they must touch the centers. You see my, it's touching the center. You see, that one is a replica of that. Um, this is what you do when you draw that. So you must have the line that goes this way that goes this way they won't touch each other guys because they are repelling these two they are repelling um, these two they are repelling each other so I have that there and have that and have that you see I'm replicating I'm duplicating um, the, that so let me have that let me have that there there must be arrows guys there there must be arrows in these lines they must be touching the centers it's something like that guys it's not perfect look at the textbooks how they draw it how is it drawn they now in 7.3 it says calculate the magnitude of net electric field at point x now um, as i've mentioned this point Q, point X is experiencing an electric field um, from Q. We're going to calculate that. And point X is experiencing an electric field due to this one. We're going to calculate that. Right? 
So, what we're going to do now, what we're going to do, we're going to calculate the electric field um, for, ball, for, for, for that Q, that X experiences. So, it's 7.3. Um, so, an electric field strength of what? An electric field strength of of P on X is K Q R squared, and it's going to be nine times ten to the power nine, and then um, P it's five times ten to the power negative nine, and the distance between from p from here to here the distance is going to be what it's going to be 30 millimeter but the 30 millimeter we have to divide it by 1000 is going to be 0 0.03 square and the answer there it's going to be 50,000 newton per coulomb and what will be the direction of that electric field since it's positive the field lines are going in that direction so the field lines are going out so this field line will repel the point x to the right so the answer here it's to the right right so we're calculating the charge now of chu on x now we substitute we already written the formula i don't have to duplicate it um, and then the distance now the distance between chu and x is 10 millimeter so the 10 millimeter is going to be 0 0.01 square and when you punch that in the calculator that will be 450 450,000 newtons per coulomb and the direction of that as well since it's positive it's going to be to the right so the direction it's to the right so now the net here it's going to be in net is equal to the electric field of p on x plus the electric field of q on x um since they're both going to the right so they be positive so it's fifty thousand plus four hundred and fifty thousand so it's going to be five hundred thousand newtons per coulomb and the direction is to the right because it's what it's positive right now let's go to the last question 7.4 the last question 7.4 it says hence calculate the magnitude of electrostatic force that an electron will experience when placed at point x now now when you place an electron here which is at, at point x when you place an electron here we want the magnitude of the net force that this electron will experience before there was nothing here at this point it was just a point now an electron is placed here but now when the electron is placed you must know the magnitude of one electron here it's 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 19 coulomb it's negative an electron it's negative so now this is what we're going to do in 7.4 so what is needed there we want the f net um, we have the e net um, we have the e net which is 500,000 it's 500,000 newtons per coulomb um, so and we have the Q which is the, the electron it's negative 1.6 times 10 to the power negative coulomb now which formula can we use to get this force it's the force that this electron will experience here which is the net force it's a force due to this one and it's a force due to uh, due to Q so what we're going to do we're going to use the formula that says E is equal to F divided by q but and now this this f it's going to be f net and this net this e is going to be net the and then this is going to be the charge of electron and then we substitute today it's 500,000 our e net our e net it's 500,000 
and the F net is the one that we're looking for. We divide by the charge of an electron, but we're not going to put the negative there. So it's going to be 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 19. And then the answer here, the answer here, it will be when you punch it in the calculator, it will be when you cross multiply your F net. Therefore, your F net will be equal to 8 times 10 to the power negative 14 newtons that's the force and that force is positive that means it's going to the right i hope that makes sense guys please do this by yourself and then you play the video you pause the video and play the video 